Windows has powerful features most people never even use, missing out on massive efficiency gains. If you've ever thought there must be an easier way to do this, you're right. We waste so much time simply because we don't know there's a faster and easier way. In this video, I'll show you how to unlock hidden Windows features and shortcuts that will save you time, simplify your workflow, and boost your productivity. We'll cover tips and tricks for Windows, File Explorer, text editing, web browsing, and window management. You can jump to any section with the timestamps below. To start off, here are some tips that will help you in using Windows 11 for everyday tasks. If you press the Windows key plus 1 to 0 on the number row, it will open the app corresponding to that location on the taskbar. For example, to open Copilot, I'd use Windows plus 1. To open File Explorer, I'd use Windows plus 3 because File Explorer is the third pinned app on my taskbar. The icons on the left do not count only pinned apps. Pressing Windows plus T allows you to navigate taskbar items with the arrow keys. Pressing space or enter opens the app. Pressing tab will highlight items on the system tray and will allow you to navigate it with a combination of the arrow keys, the escape key, the enter key, and the tab key. To highlight the system tray directly, press Windows plus B. Middle clicking on an app in the taskbar opens another instance. This only works for apps that support multiple windows of the same app. You can do the same thing by holding shift and left clicking the taskbar item. You can open an app as administrator by holding control shift and clicking the app. A feature got added recently when right clicking a taskbar item to force quit an app by ending its task instead of doing it through the task manager. Especially useful when the app becomes unresponsive. To enable it, open settings, go to system for developers and enable end task. Scrolling on top of the sound icon will adjust the volume. To copy text from an image, right click on it, open with snipping tool or share using snipping tool, click text actions and copy the text you need. I've recently discovered that I can type with the numpad on the calculator app. While working on the computer, I've noticed that some apps indicate that the project file I'm working on is not saved with a star on the title bar. I've noticed this across all Adobe apps. When I save the project file, the star disappears. This might look different in other apps. For example, Notepad indicates the same thing with a circle. Another small detail I've noticed is that on apps with these types of menus, pressing the ALT key will underline a character on each option. And then, if I want to open the file menu for example, I can see that the F is underlined and so pressing F will open that menu. The same thing for these options. For example, to open the new menu, I need to click the N key because it's underlined. And then by pressing S, I can create a new sequence. The same thing applies to the Windows plus X menu. For example, pressing the N key will open settings. Now with some tips to help you in troubleshooting your computer. When you get a black screen or Windows becomes unresponsive, pressing Windows plus Ctrl plus Shift plus B will reset the display driver. The reliability monitor is a tool that will help you in troubleshooting your computer and see what has been causing issues in an easy to understand interface. You can access it by searching for reliability monitor or by navigating in the control panel. In task manager that you can open with control shift and escape, if the resources are updating too quickly, you can hold control to pause updates and easily select what you need. Holding F5 will speed up updates. In settings, you can also choose the default page that opens when launching Task Manager. If I set it to Performance, for example, closing and reopening Task Manager will open the Performance tab by default. These next tips will help you in managing files faster and more efficiently on File Explorer. Multi-level sorting and File Explorer allows you to sort files and folders by more than one property by shift-clicking on the column. For example, 
sorting by type first, then holding down shift and clicking date modified will sort the files within each file type group by the date they were last modified. This way you can easily find the most recently modified files within each file type. To sort each file type alphabetically, sort by type first, then shift click on the name column. When dragging files, holding control will copy the file instead of moving it. If it defaults to copying the picture, holding control will move the file instead. Holding alt will create a shortcut. Alt plus up arrow key will go up one level in the parent directory. Alt left will go back and alt right will go forward. The same way these arrows work. Ctrl Shift C on a file or folder will copy its path. Ctrl L will highlight the address bar. Alt, double click or Alt, enter will open the file's properties. Double middle click on the mouse wheel button will open the folder in another tab and middle clicking on the tab will close it. These next tips will help you write faster. Control plus arrow keys to move by words. Shift control plus arrow keys to highlight by words. Shift plus up or down arrow keys to highlight by lines. Control plus delete to delete the word to the right. Control plus backspace to delete the word to the left. Next tips will help you browse the web faster. They should work on most web browsers. Alt plus left to go back. Alt plus right to go forward. Middle click on the back button to open the previous page in another tab. Middle click the refresh button to duplicate the current web page. Hold left click on the back button to see a list of previous websites and middle click on one of them to open in a new tab. Middle click links to open in a new tab. Use control plus the number row to go to a tab based on its location. Right now I'm on the fourth tab. To go back to the first, I'd use control plus one. Use control tab to go to the next tab and control shift tab to go back. Middle click on a tab to close it. The next steps will help you organize and manage multiple windows. Windows plus left arrow key to snap the active window to the left half of the screen, windows plus right arrow key to snap to the right half of the screen. In this position, windows plus up arrow key to snap to the top right of the screen and windows plus down arrow key to snap to the bottom right of the screen. When it's not snapped, windows plus down will minimize the window and windows plus up will maximize it. Pressing windows plus up again will make a split screen. Windows plus home to minimize all windows except the one in focus. Pressing it again will bring them back. Windows D to minimize all windows and go to the desktop. Pressing Windows D again will bring the windows back. Windows plus Z to access snap suggestions and then you can control it with the number pad. I will choose the fifth suggestion and snap edge on the left by pressing 1. And finally pressing the delete key on the alt tab menu will close that one. For even more power, check out my video on taskbar customization.